Hello students! Today we're going to learn about the present continuous. The present continuous is used when we talk about actions that are happening now. Take a look at this picture. What is she doing? She's studying hard for her final exam. In the present continuous we have an auxiliary verb, the verb to be, and we conjugate it. We use it in the present, so we're going to use am, is and are. For example, I'm watching TV, he or she, it is watching TV, you, we, they are watching TV. And what happens to the main verb? For the main verb we add ing, so I'm watching TV, it's watching TV. The cat is watching TV. But can you see? So we have the verb watch and we add ing. Very simple, right? Okay, in the negatives we're going to use the auxiliary and then the word not. I am not listening, he, she, it is not listening, you, we, they are not listening. And of course we can contract it. We usually use it this way. I'm not listening, he, she, it isn't listening, or uh, you, we, they aren't listening. Okay. In the questions, we also use the verb to be as an auxiliary. And we have the common order of the elements in a question. First the WH word, then the verb to be, then the subject, then the main verb, and last but not least, the complement. For example, what are you doing now? Or are you reading? You have more examples. Is she wearing a hat? Are they studying English? What is your aunt doing in the school? Very simple, yes? But you know English is not simple. Spelling. Remember, in the, for the, main, in the main verb we add ing, but be careful. The verbs ending in e, we remove the e and we add ing. For example, dance, dancing. You see, there is no e and we add ing. With verbs with one syllable, which end in a short vowel plus a consonant, what do we do? We double the consonant and then we add ing. For example, clap, clap. We have a short vowel and a consonant. So, we double the consonant and then we add ing. Okay. When we use the present continuous, we are going to use time phrases. Phrases that give time reference. For example, at the moment, now, today, this week and currently. Currently means actualmente. They indicate, they show, they tell us that the action is in progress. Okay, so now you're ready for some exercises. Let's go. Exercise number one. What's the continuous form? Stop the video now and write the continuous form for these verbs. We will check the answers in class. Ready? Exercise number two. Complete these text, these sentences, sorry, with the present continuous tense of the verbs in brackets. You can stop the video now and complete the sentences. Then play it again to check the answers. Okay, here are the answers. Did you do what well? Yes. Well, that's all for now. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.